like a world, wild and fragile, vibrant and untamed. Grand Pulse. It's a place where lives are ruled by the brutal struggle for survival and the callous and uncaring whim of the Thassian. There is no such thing as mercy. Only a never-ending string of trials that weed out the weak and leave only the strong. Reigns knew the truth. The purpose lying at the heart of all the Falsi's actions. Recalling their lost deity and returning the world to its former glory. People were never anything more than sacrifices. Cocoon's destruction? It's just a way to wake a sleeping god. But would bringing the Maker back into this world really lead to our salvation? The Maker created Falsi, and they, in their desperation to be reunited with the Maker, created Lassi. And Lassi? I wonder what we'll end up creating. looked bleak, but as long as we could keep our spirits up, we'd find a way to change our fate. Somehow. You were having a dream. <laughs> a pretty strange dream. Have any luck? No sign of anyone else. But we did find plenty of bloodthirsty wildlife and crumbling ruins. Long day? Well, guys, we've run out of places to search around here. Huh. Where's Hope? He's off with the chocobo, getting supplies. Hello. <laughs> uh, <I> uh, <laughs> you all by yourself? <laughs> We gotta find him! <laughs> Hope!
so this is how it ends. But just wait. Now, how long has it been since we left Cocoon? Hmm? Not a single soul for miles around? Not a single clue about this whole sea mess? <laughs> what I'm saying is, we did well just getting this far. But we could go a little further. Hmm? Meaning? There's still one place. Vanille? Oh. Are you sure? I'm sure. You know, if we don't find anything this time, we won't get another chance. Huh? Erba. Hey. Oh. The place it all began. Hope. Oh. The place where the pulse of Alcee lay dreaming. Vanille and Fang's home. Just maybe, it'll be the place where we find the answers we're looking for. You're right. If we can get there. <laughs> Go ahead without me. We can't just leave you. I'll be fine. You've all taught me so much. You showed me how to fight. <laughs> what did I tell you? Leave the fighting to me. I'm scared. We understand. You're not gonna go through this ordeal alone, you know. Huh? That's what scares me. I don't... I don't want to see you get hurt because of me. It'd be better for everyone if I just stayed behind. <laughs> Mention ordeals? And look what comes along! This is not an ordeal. This is a gift. Hope! Huh? This is the kind of power you've got inside. And it's telling you not to give up. Trust me. Huh? Oh, I get it. It's here to show you the way. Show you that you've got what it takes to get back on your feet and do this thing! You mean... that came from me? That's some beast you tamed, I'll tell you that. Yeah. I always thought the Eidolans appeared to set us free through death. But now, I think maybe they're here to snap us out of our slumps. Oh, like the one you were just in? <laughs> I'll ask for help earlier next time around. Uh, I told you, on Grand Pulse, we're all family. You can moan all you like, but you're stuck with us. <laughs> <laughs> you're never alone in hell. <laughs> Listen, funny man, don't call this place uh, hell, all right? So, we're all decided then. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe nothing would change. And maybe we'd hit a dead end. 
but we were at least going to see where the road would take us. The search for a home buried in the past and the faintest glimmer of hope. Our final journey had just begun. Let's go. You know, I gotta say, this is weird. When we were young, we were always taught that someday we'd be attacked by the demons of Cocoon. And look at us now, waltzing back into Erba with the very people we were chosen to take up arms against. Yeah, back then we never would have helped you guys. Oh. <laughs> well, right. Back then is when you got your first focus, so... Right. We already talked a bit about that, huh? A little bit. Must have been centuries ago now, when me and Fang joined the battle against Cocoon. During the fight, I became Ragnarok and cracked Cocoon's shell. That, uh, that must have been hard on you going through that. The memories, they're all pretty fuzzy. Cocoon's version of the War of Transgression must have been built up around what you two did. I didn't do anything. I just got turned to crystal, and I can't even remember why that happened. Don't even have the memories to show for it. Oh. It's all my fault. So many people died because of me. It's over. Those souls can rest. You gotta be ready to drop by now. Don't overdo it. I won't. I know my limits, unlike some people. Ho oh, ho ho! Now who's the tough guy? <laughs> what was that? A Grand Pulse Falci. Used to see it flying around all the time. And they said it had a home, somewhere near Erba. So that's good news, right? If we stay on its tail, we should end up in your village. Let's follow it. Right. Something on your mind? Huh? Oh, I, uh, I was just thinking. About what? Something complicated? <laughs> I was just taking it all in. The sky here, the trees, the sunlight, the smells. When I was on Cocoon, I never dreamed a place like this could even exist. But now, here I am, on Pulse. If I hadn't gone to those fireworks, if I hadn't been sitting in that same train car during the purge, if anything had been different, I'd never have had a chance to see this. Mm -mm. No. I'm sure you would have wound up here. Don't you remember you promised me? You promised me that we'd come and see Grand Pulse together. Uh, really? I... When did I do that? <laughs> I don't know. How about another lifetime? <laughs> uh, what does that even mean? To tell you the truth, I've told so many lies. It's all a blur. Well, 
You know, sometimes you have to lie about stuff to keep yourself going because you're afraid or to protect someone else so they don't get hurt. Sometimes even the things that everyone in the whole world thinks are true turn out to be lies. At the end of the day though, it's not the lie that matters, but what you do after you tell it. Work hard enough and you can make it true. I mean, maybe we both forgot. Maybe we did promise to see Grand Pulse together and Cocoon. Thanks, Hope. Do something for me, will ya? Keep smiling. I... It makes me happy when you smile. Uh, I... I didn't know you felt that way. Uh. <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean you were joking? Now we're even. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> fault Grand Pulse ended up like this, isn't it? What? I remember everything. I became Ragnarok. I scarred Cocoon. And I left Grand Pulse in this mess. It was me. What are you talking about? It all came back to me. Everything that happened with iFocus. All of it. You're lying! <laughs> no, it's the truth. It's all my fault. Don't say that! Vanille! The Eidolon knows the truth. Ha! I knew I was right. Wait! So you were lying? No more than you were. You remember everything. It wasn't. It wasn't your fault. Vanille, we should talk about this later. something was off. You've been shying away from our focus ever since we woke up on Cocoon. I... I couldn't figure it out, but then it all made sense after hearing that story from Reigns. You already knew. You knew Ragnarok was the name of destruction. It wasn't fair. You had to do all the horrible stuff. And I didn't have to do anything! That is no reason to lie to me! You think that's what I want? Uh, you of all people! Uh, uh, Poor kid. You've had it rough. Fang. Listen. You're not alone anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
keep that up and you'll have me crying soon. We have a new family now. We stick together, you hear me? There's a way through here! Oh! Wait, wait. I know that smell! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> hey, you! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Quick! Quick, quick! Quick! Quick, quick! Hey, what we got here? New friends, huh? Why don't you go say hi? Keep growing like that, you'll be bigger than me before long, won't you? <laughs> Maybe it'd be best to just say goodbye here. Hey, oh! <laughs> Come on! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Jeez! Come on, I was just kidding. Yeah, I know. You're sticking with me till Dodge wakes up. It'd be a long wait. No one knows. Oh. <laughs> quick, quick. Hey, what would? Oh, oh, wait. You, you watching me or something? Say something. Or something. Wait. Didn't want to interrupt. And you know, I didn't quite know where to begin. You don't have to begin anywhere. What happened to Dodge? <laughs> Wasn't your fault. But Saz. Mm mm. You got more than enough weight in your shoulders already. It was my fault that you're a day, letting Dodge out of my sight like that. <laughs> that one's on me. And you're just gonna deal with that on your own. Is that it? <laughs> I don't have to. I got this guy. Hmm. <laughs> and you? You got Vanille. You weren't alone. That kept you going, didn't it? Ah, listen to me, I'm trying to act all parity. Well, don't give up. You're getting the hang of it. Really. A Grand Pulse Falci made this path. Yep. I bet it's off digging more tunnels right now. They seem different from all the Falci we've seen on Cocoon, you know? It's like they just plow through, without caring what happens around them. That's true. Then again, we were able to build our village on land cleared by Falci. We lived alongside them, just like you do on Cocoon. Oh, yeah. This is just like Cocoon. In a world this big, who knows what we'll find. Uh, 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 guys, heads up! Whoa! Look at that thing! Let me guess, that's a falsy? Yep. Busy carving out new tunnels. Making roads where roads ain't meant to go, huh? Yeah, it kind of sounds like us. All right, Rolly Poly, let's hit your ride on that thing. Now you're thinking Grandpa style. No way through. Man, that foul sea must have been slacking. Ah! Wait! Stop already! Ugh, the vile peaks all over again. Hey! hey! Get out of there!
Is he trying to stop it? You can do it! <sighs> what are they doing? That was cool. Go robot guys. Good lesson for us. Not even a mighty foul sea is a match for the power of teamwork. <laughs> that is inspiration right there. Save the sermons, old man. Let's hop on Trailblazer here while we still have the chance. What you doing? I was, uh, was talking to Sarah. Just telling her that we're all going to be OK. crying, hadn't you? Back when we first met? This place was beautiful and my focus was to destroy it. I decided to do nothing and wait to become a sea. But because I did nothing, others got dragged into this nightmare and I was the one to blame. How's the scrape? Huh? Fine. Much better, thanks to you. Ugh. Oh, sure you don't mind. I mean, I'm not keeping you from anything, am I? Not at all. Don't worry. I could sit here for hours. Hey, Sarah. Do you think we'll meet again? We might, sure. myself lately. Like what? Don't laugh, okay? It's a dream I had. A bad one. I dreamt I destroyed the world. It was terrifying. I needed some time alone. It had me so scared, I tried to run away. But then, my boyfriend, he came chasing after me. That's when I understood. Running away and leaving behind the people you care about? That isn't love. Though you might just want to keep them safe, shutting them out of your life only hurts them more. The point is, I have people I can count on. I'll make it through. I think you'll be fine. And you will be 
you to. You'll find the words. I'm sure of it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What else can I say? I'm not the one you should be asking, Vanille. You'll know what to say when you find your friend. You'll see. You mean you met Sarah? Mm hmm I tried to hide our focus, and she ended up with the sea. I wanted to say I was sorry, but... Well, when we rescue her, maybe you'll get the chance. Yeah, I hope so. Come on. I think Sarah saw the same vision of Ragnarok that we did. Which means Dysley had to be lying when he explained her focus. I think she beat it. She handed Cocoon over to us, and that's what made her turn to Crystal. Yeah, I know. Hey, Sarah, what dreams are you having up there? We walked pretty far today. Let's rest up and start out fresh tomorrow. How's Sarah? Same as we left her. Feels so far away now. <laughs> Sarah says she wants to talk. She'd probably prefer if you skip the lectures. Hey! Once we're home, what's your plan? You're getting married, right? What's that? Sarah wants to know. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. You are getting married, aren't you? Don't you let her down, you hear me? <laughs> Don't worry. This tear will be her last. I'll make sure of that. That's all I need to know. We will see her, right? <laughs> Don't go there. No room for doubt. You're right. We'll see her again. And soon. You convinced me of that. So stay strong. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll finish this and go see her together. get through there, and we'll be in Abba. You're almost home. Yep. Doesn't exactly look like it's gonna be a leisurely stroll. <coughs> a foul sea! Oh, so we just head through this foul sea's lair to get to Erba, right? What's another foul sea at this point, huh? Huh? 
only one hearing that, am I? No. Uh, it, it couldn't be them, could it? I don't know. It's weird. Like voices in my head. I hear it. Your presence here draws the tyrant's gaze. Leave this place at once. We can't leave. This is the only way for us to get through. Please, help us. As you wish. Look for us, and the way will open. Was easy enough. You never know. Could be a trap. Could be. <laughs> Don't see no stairs though, do you? Nope. This is our ride. Bumpy or not. this? Some kind of trap? Take a hint. You're one to talk. Huh? Oh. Woo! Well, I'll be damned. Uh, are they sad? Well, I guess the way is open now. Saved us again. Yeah. Huh. You want to help us? Let's just count our blessings. The way's clear. Right. Mm -hmm.
Hmm. <sighs> hey, look! It's acting strange. He must be weak from losing his tail. <laughs> yeah? Uh, looks plenty feisty to me. He's bluffing to scare us off. Let's just go with that, all right? Come on, we can do this. We can win if we stay focused. We are free. We go now to hunt down evil where it hides. So I guess that means there are still more monsters like that one out there. Sounds like it. Somewhere out there on Grand Pulse. <laughs> Gone just like that. A big hunk of rock, that thing sure can move. Guess they're just doing what they can too. Trying to save the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's not all on them. Last time I checked, we are still in this fight. Arab is right down there, then, isn't it? Yep. So, what's it like? Well, it's kind of small, but it's warm and green and very naturey. Around the Thal Sea, it was flowers as far as you could see, huh? <laughs> View from here? Hmm? Ain't so rosy, I'm sorry to say. You want to wait here? No. I need to see for myself. It's all gone. Every trace of color. We're chasing shadows. This whole idea of losing our brands is hopeless. There's gotta be a way. Let's keep on looking. That's what we came here for. We all agreed, and now we're here. You think... you think it's really possible? Sure. Anything is. <laughs> <laughs> There's no going back. You don't think I know that? Come on. Now that looks like an easier way to get where we're going. Well, let's take it. Wouldn't want you to throw your back out climbing, old man. <laughs> you really are a charmer, aren't you?
Which is your house? What do you mean, which is ours? All of them. They're all ours. Yep. Everyone in the village lived together. Uh, one big happy family? One heck of a lot of places to hang your hat. We're back. So, do you want to take a look around? We'd better. Gotta find something to help us lose these brands. That's not the only reason we're here. You're finally home. Make the most of it. Ragnarok. Come day of wrath, O oh pulse the sea. Embrace thy fate, thine home to burn that fallen souls might bear our plea to hasten the divine's return. O oh, piteous wanderer, Ragnarok, make of this day a brave epoch. Deliver the divine, Ragnarok. What? Sarah, how did you... I was waiting for you to open your eyes. <sighs> All the time I was asleep, I knew what was happening. I kept trying to think of a way to save Cocoon. Together. Sarah? gods with miracles to save us no matter where you look that's why we have to call one <laughs> destroy orphan we'll save the world stop it you can't do that you love me too much you do don't you Claire enough already <laughs> listen up we are all shooting for the same goal here. <laughs> and the result of that <gasps> is this. You son of a... <laughs> you betray your foul sea to chase after dreams and shadows. The world you claim to wish to protect now faces the end of days, with no hope of salvation. I didn't think Falci had the means. Oh, it won't be Falci who destroy her. For centuries now, Cocoon has provided generously for its human inhabitants every want and need. Coddled them, one might even say. The result being... Their deep-seated fear and hatred of change and all things alien. Fed, nurtured, and ready to detonate at the slightest spark. The seeds of destruction take root, even now. What did you do to Cocoon? I resigned, appointing Reigns as Primarch in my stead. Reigns? He's alive? <laughs> The puppet is restrung to serve my needs, yes. Its eyes had long since turned to glass. Of course, the cavalry's eyes will see our friend as nothing more than a traitor to their cause. They'll say the Falci got to him too, or some such drivel, and imagine when I spread word that it's Orphan tugging at his strings. What happens next? What? Uh... You're gonna use the cavalry to take the thing out? <laughs> Perhaps. 
Or perhaps I'll feign the howling of Pulsian wolves and let the fear-addled sheep slaughter themselves first. Either way, the end is at hand. <laughs> but what of yourselves? Will you enjoy the festivities beside me? Or perhaps... Greet the end here, in the land where it all began. Time has come. <laughs> Allow me to extend my invitation. To save a people beyond salvation, there is only Ragnarok. <laughs> Cocoon suffers. Release her from the pain. <sighs> so, this is the end of the rainbow, huh? Here's hoping the pot's full of tips on dealing with crackpot Falci. Hmm. You know, I don't remember this being here before. I guess it's new, huh? Yeah, must be. I suppose it might be a record of what happened. You know, after we turned to crystal. Where the slaves of Lindsay dwell is the enemy of all life fostered by Pulse's sacred hand. So Alphal C determined Pulse's will, chose Lissy, and gave them a focus. Become Ragnarok and bring about the end of Cocoon. And so the beast arose, defeated Lindsay's hateful Falsi, and prepared to tear Cocoon apart. But her providence betrayed Alice, draining Ragnarok of strength. Their focus only half complete, the Lassi were taken to the enemy's land by Bartandalus, curse his name. And the goddess said, Lassi who rest upon Cocoon will reawaken, however long they may wait. And Ragnarok will rise again to tear the land from its seat in the sky. Her word is absolute. Guess the jig is up. Ugh. Cocoon's done for, isn't it? Yeah, you don't sweat it. If we go ahead and smash Cocoon, you know some makers sure to roll up and save the day. <laughs> as long as Falci are around, this fight is never gonna end. So let's finish it. Let's get Dysley. So what do we do about Orphan? We help Orphan. What else can we do? 
If we can manage to keep it safe, another war breaks out somewhere down the road. We're La Cie. It's not like we can make people stop fighting. <sighs> Lightning, you told me on Cocoon. Hmm? It's not a question of can or can't. We just do it. That's our only choice this time. Maybe it won't do much. Maybe only one person will listen to us. But even then, isn't trying better than doing nothing? <laughs> because ripples can make waves. <laughs> okay, kids have gone crazy. Revolutionaries always get cold crazy. <laughs> when I was on Cocoon, I wished on those fireworks. I wished to not let anything happen to Cocoon this time. But I shouldn't have wished for that. Uh... Wishes aren't enough. Prayers either. This time I'm making a promise. I will keep Cocoon safe. I promise. No matter what. I guess it takes losing everything to make you see how much you have to fight for. Huh. And we're the only ones who can do it. Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Let's tie up loose ends. Okay. Right. All right. Dude. Yeah! Even if we were chasing shadows, our minds were made up. We'd realized along the way that choice was the only thing we had left. Maybe we'd fall short. Maybe we'd never even come close. But someone, someday, would know we'd tried.